I can do it, people. Oh, wow. And the game is showing us which direction to Swirly Whirly in. And of course, that does make it a mermaid spring, I think, now. Am I correct? Oh! It gives us Nuregami. So we get more abilities. Followers in need in your own pure height have restored my power. I, Nuregami, have a new power to bestow upon you. I have harnessed the fervent energy of those in need to create the power called Fountain. Use it well. Fountain? What does Fountain do? Right on! The Swirly Whirlies return to the spring. The Swirly Whirlies spring's real name is the Swirling Spring. It's a portal to the, the Dragonians made to connect to the land. If you jump in it when it's swirling, you can go to different places. Sometimes we girls use it to get out and have some fun on land. Oops, you won't tell Otohimi about that, will you? Anyway, thanks for all your help, doggy. Here, have this. You'll be surprised at what's inside. Is it a scroll? I knew it! Brute strength is the only answer in the end. From now on, the Dragon Palace Dance Troops motto is muscle. Well, good luck with that. Boy, I mean, that's one brush you wield. I bet you could summon one of those travel whirlpools anytime. You want if you use that technique on the on the mermaid spring. Now we can travel across the opponent for free! Alright, so yeah, um, that's a pretty cool ability. I can go sell all my mermaid coins. I completely forgot about, um... I had completely forgotten about that ability. That is just... That is just so cool. Okay, I figured it out. I know how to get up to that pillar. It took me way too long to think about this. I feel like a dumbski. Look, you see, there's a broken pillar here. I am a Matarasu. I've got a brush technique that'll fix that. I was just sitting there thinking about it for an amount of time that I will not say because it's embarrassing. It actually wasn't too long, but I figured that out because I'm sometimes kind of not dumb. But now that I got that new ability, um, I can warp around the game for free, which is awesome, so I can go the next merchant I see, I can sell all my mermaid coins to, because I no longer need them, although I still can get that other ability that will warp me around like wild and crazy style. As you can see, this garden is pretty devoid of shit, so we walk up and guess what is there? What the? It's that pesky water dragon! How many times did that rampaging sea monster almost finish us off? So it makes its home here, huh? That's one huge nasty looking mouth on that thing. Think we really could go in there and come back out alive? I mean, we're not talking about the Emperor's stomach here. Well... You know what you gotta do! You gotta do what you gotta do. And what you gotta do is go inside of a motherfucking dragon. And it's sad inside, as you can see, as denoted by the sad face. Well, here we are. This is the water dragon's stomach, huh? Is it just me, or is it unbearably hot and humid in here? Hmm, with the way this dragon is running amok, I'm sure we'll see all sorts of gruesome things down here. I just hope I don't lose my lunch. I think we're really gonna find that dragon orb in here, Ami. Okay, so that'll take us out. Does this serve any purpose? Look at this, look at this, I'm already, I just, I just literally stepped two steps into this place. And I'm already like, what, what kind of crazy treasures are hidden inside? And of course, this is a crazy tre- oh, I didn't mean to- Oh! Chopping dragon's innards probably hurt the dragon. So yeah, I was talking before, but I was like, levels like this are like a staple of, of games like this, because... And now you know, now that we're actually in this level, you know what I was meaning, because games like this really do seem to have, like, you're inside of some great beast. And that is surely what this level is, you're obviously inside of a great beast, and is that an infinity stone? What an awesome reward. I'm like sitting here, I'm not even paying attention to what's going on in this place, because I'm like, look at all this free shit inside the dragon's stomach. By the way, the water quality in here is actually gorgeous, like, you think... The water inside the dragon's stomach would be, you know, more acidy and shit, but it's like crystals and it's gorgeous in here. I think I'd be okay, like, living inside of a dragon. Like, it's not half bad in here. This is just a nice place. Oh, did I not dig in the right spot for that, um, 
seashell to pop out. Dude, there's like, they, obviously, there's a big boss fight coming up or something because they are loading me up with the, um, fucking equipment. And there's a non-boss fight right in front of me. Let's do this. Oh, it's one of these guys. Um, oh, and one of these guys. Hey, so I found out, by the way, somebody confirmed my suspicion that this thing's... I gotta make sure I'm watching out for that thing behind me. This thing's, um, full finisher is most certainly Cherry Bomb, I think. Did I not do it right? I guess either it's full finisher isn't Cherry Bomb or I did it wrong. By the way, um, I, I'm waiting for this thing to come to the ground, which is probably a bad idea. Because I wanted to do something to it. But, uh, because I was going to point something out. Ah, shit. Get my ass handed to me by this thing, all because I'm trying to do something. Somebody pointed out that, um, or nobody pointed this out. I realized that, is this, which, which, that's the button, alright. So I can get a demon fang out of this guy, and I've not been doing this, I've been just forgetting to do that shit. Um. So if you just saw, I just peed on this thing, and in exchange, I got a demon fang, and that is Golden Fury. Oh, so it's not... That is, I used the wrong foil finisher. So as you can see, I did shitty in that fight. I was too focused on waiting for it to come to the ground so I could do Golden Fury, but yeah. I realized, I was looking through my abilities today, and I was like, holy shit, I have had Golden Fury for such a long time, and I've never used Sorry it. Sorry about that, I was just re- I just uh, stopped for a second and like started reading the bestiary, and then I got into that fight, and uh, now I'm back. I realized uh, just now that reading the bestiary gives a lot of useful information. Like, I don't read the bestiary nearly enough. Like, there's a ton of sweet tips in the bestiary on like how to beat enemies and stuff, so all the times that I'm like miserably failing, against enemies, I really could just be, like, uh, reading the bestiary, and I would do so much better. Get that, get that, oh, whatever. I was like, there's freaking things all over the place, so it doesn't even matter. The hardest ability in the game, actually, it's not hard to do outside of the digging minigame. I don't understand why, um, doing water spout in the digging minigame is, like, so challenging for me. Like, every time I want to do Water Spout during the digging minigame, I can never, ever, ever de ever pull it off. Alright. Whoa! Whoa! This is, there we go. Give the old one, two, three. Jump, jump, dash. How to get shit in this game. Seriously, jump, jump, dash is like... the way to get shit done. And I think there's something hidden behind that waterfall over there if I'm... Not mistaken. Oh, it might not even be hidden. It might be an item that I actually need because it appears to be um, a key. So I might as well get it now because I'll probably need it later. Steel Fist Sake! And hopefully I'm right about it being a key. That would be nice. Cool. Yep. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Oh, and it definitely is. It is a demon exercising key. Is there anything further back in here? There is. I don't think- oh no, this is just- that's- I can just see a different part of the little canyon. Because there's no actual way to get up there from where I'm standing, so... Yeah, I thought maybe I was seeing something intriguing or interesting or unique. But it turns out I actually am not seeing anything interesting or intriguing or unique. Seriously though, this ability in the digging minigame plagues me every time I've tried to do it. Luckily, the digging minigame with the- uh, with the lady to um, get the next uh, water spout ability, fountain, didn't have any of those, which you'd think it would, but it had none, so that made that very easy. Oh, this is, yep, I was about to say, that'll restore my health, which, does that mean I'm already at the midway point of this dungeon, and where does that go? I think I can't go this way yet, or maybe I can. It obviously goes somewhere. Oh, I think... Yeah, I, I can get through here. Is it a secret? Oh, it totally looks like a secret. 
Yeah! And somebody's boat went down here. Oh, so a few episodes ago I was like, Crystal sells like so well. I forgot, Kutani Pottery, there's so many items. In the other episode where I was like, oh, Crystal sells great. There's tons of items that sell way better than Crystal. Including... Is there anything else in here that I'm like missing somehow? No, nope, right. Including like, Kutani Pottery sells for like 12,000. There's several items that sell for 5,500, so... The other day when I was saying that, you should have just like ignored me and been like, Raktar, I hope you did, and just been like, Raktar, you're drunk. I'm surprised I still haven't found the place where this, uh, demon key goes to. Usually I find that in this game, you don't have to carry around one of these, um, exercising keys for very long. But yeah, obviously the door's right there, but still, all I was saying is, I feel like you usually don't have to carry one around for very long, and the game usually doesn't have you carry one past a save point. I feel like, but as you can see, shit is going down in this room. It is significant in that there is something in there. What's that? It's all tangled up in this flabby stomach muscle. Looks like a glass ball or something. Possibly, what's another word for a glass ball? Could it maybe be... Orb? And I think that... Let's see here, wait a sec, I wonder if it's... Yep, yeah, see, he's catching on. I don't think you can just chop it out of there. Yep, he's gonna say, yep, the water dragon sure doesn't want to give this thing up. Must be something really important, so yeah. Um, you can't just chop it out of here right now. I do believe you actually have to, like, go continue on in the dungeon before you can get it out. So, let's go through this way and hopefully we can find a way to release... Why is it giving me this shit camera angle? Oh, there we go. Okay. It's not really a shit camera angle. I'm just trying to change it. Oh, and, ah, you can see this is where the inflammation must be. A dead end? I don't know where we are now, but I don't like the look of that red liquid there. I'd pro it'd probably digest us in a second if we fell in, so yeah. Basically the game is saying, don't be a dumb ski, but let's just be a dick and chop the shit out of that, and hopefully something bad will happen. It's all squishy squashy, and what's with that bright red liquid that keeps falling from it? Would you stop messing with the furball? You're grossing me out. I'm doing bad stuff. I bet that fleshy mass is keeping a lid on that... We're a history if that thing blows. I'm warning you, Ami. You better stop messing with it. I think I'm gonna be sick. Looks like it's keeping a lid on that disgusting liquid. I feel like I have to... ...do that. What the heck are you doing? Hmm, now you got me interested too. Ah, uh, there we go, I was like, he doesn't want me to do it, but I'm telling you, this is what we gotta do. We gotta get this thing blown up. Maybe I can draw a cherry bomb in there. There we go, okay, so the trick is definitely drawing lines of the red liquid up to the thing. And now we've made the inflammation shittier than ever. What the? The whole place is flooded with the that icky red liquid. We came to find the Dragon Orb, not to end up lunch. Uh-oh. Well, now what do we do? I do believe that you can, of course, lily pad it up. You'd think that the lily pad... Oh, it is. It does slowly dissolve, I think. And so that's the trick to this part of the game, is that you have somewhat of a limitation based on the lily pad slowly dissolving, but for now, it seems to be doing okay, surprisingly enough. And of course, the game allows us to use the wind to blow ourselves back, and I think the point is that this red liquid, when we get back, will have dissolved the dragon stomach lining to a point where we can successfully remove the orb and, of course, fight... Oh, oh no, no. Why are you in the water? I didn't mean... I meant to jump off the thing. Alright. Hmm. Alright, now... We gotta do something about this ball, but thanks to you, the whole place is covered... Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I know what to do. It's a ball. No, damn it. Dissolve the... Stu yeah, there we go. I was try see, I was trying to get like a bunch of them at once, but the game made me do wind. So I was trying to like do some of this, 
see if I can... Oh, yeah, that worked great, actually. See, that's what I was trying to do when the game was like, Nope, you're doing wind right now. Let's see if we can get these last three in one jump. There we go. And what does that look like? It looks like an orb. It's dragony, which is exactly what we needed out of life. But of course there's going to be a boss battle, right? There's always a boss battle. Or maybe there's not. Da -da -da -da. You obtained Dragon Orb. Nice work, Ami. We finally got that Dragon Orb. Now we should be able to break the barrier on Oni Island. Once Himiko locates the island on her crystal ball, the enemy's stronghold will be totally exposed. Boy, you sure had a hard time pulling that orb out. I wonder if the dragon's gonna be okay. Let's go, Ami. I mean, we got the orb. No use sticking around here. Except for the boss! Alright, I don't even remember what boss is in here. What the heck? Are these the vengeful spirits of the people the dragon gobbled up? No, wait. These aren't spirits. That weird color can only mean one thing. Foxfire. What? 